so I'm gonna buy some running shoes because I, I can't run anymore my legs hurt too much and I think it's the shoes so I'm outside of Dick's and I'm trying to order using their app so I can use curbside pickup I really don't like the idea of buying shoes without trying them on first um, I don't know what choice I have. I mean, if I want to get running. So I've been looking at the ones that they have available online for curb pickup, like they have here at this store. Looking at Brooks, um, I'm reading some reviews on independent websites. There seem to be some relatively good ones. The ASICs that they have in store uh, aren't reviewed as good. There's another brand that I really want, but I, they don't have it in the, any store reasonably close, and I'm not willing to. I don't want to order online. I want to. I just want to pick it up today and use it. So, anyway, so these Brooks ones look good, and again, I'm starting with garbage shoes. So I think whatever I get is going to be this improvement. So let's see how curbside pickup goes. I got this Brooks Men's Ghost running shoe. So it looks like it says $129 which is more than I've ever spent for a pair of tennis shoes. I mean, by a lot. So, I'm, I, I like the gray. I think, oh, let's see, can you see that okay? Yeah, it's not really coming through. Um, but I, I like the look of these, the gray. So I, I think I'm gonna go with this. So, I'm ordering these shoes. I'm gonna be spending $140. Ugh, that is, I mean, that's after tax and everything, but that is so much more than I've ever spent on tennis shoes. I'm told they'll make a difference. I'm told I'll notice. So, thanks for the order. Contact us, pick up. Okay. This is a processing order. I don't know how long I'm going to wait here in the parking lot, so I'm actually thirsty. I'm going to go get a drink. And I guess I gotta wait for instructions to know what to do, I guess. I just got an email saying that the order is ready for pickup. See how this goes. Good. I'm. Pickup? Yeah. Last name? Terrell with a T. Chris. Yep. There you go. Thank you. Take care. here just open it up make sure everything is good so okay let's take a look interesting I'll let you see okay Try them on, see how they fit, how how I run goes, see how I run is with these. But um, I like the look, I like the gray. I think they'll go well with several different things, and gray is sort of becoming my workout color with a lot of things. cushion but seems to be the same size as I normally wear. All 
All right, let's get into some workout clothes and let's go run on them. Okay. Got the new shoes on. So we'll run down the street a little bit. I'll probably keep running, but we'll see how they feel. Definitely feels better than what I had before. They feel better, for sure. My knee still hurts some. I haven't brought that up, but my knee right here has been bothering me. So I haven't run for a week. I wanted to give it a chance to recover. So. I don't know, we'll see how far I run, because it was hurting just in a little bit, I just ran. I'd love to run on the path there, but I don't want to get my new kicks dirty. So, I think I'm gonna turn on some music and uh, get to doing some running. The long hair is getting annoying. He's blowing in my face. I decided to run on the gravel. It's nice. Feels much better on my legs. I'm on a walking stretch. I'm uh, yeah, the shoes help. I mean, it's not like it takes all the pain away, but I can go a little longer before the pain becomes too much I have to walk. And now I'm just feeling muscle pain. Of course, some of it is I'm running on this. Uh, it's finally dry enough, I can. But, uh, huh, yeah. All right, walking stretch up. Gotta run again. So, huh, I was gonna go that way, but I just looked. It's a dirt trail. And this is in the neighborhood I live in, which this is a beautiful place to run. So, uh, tells me it might be muddy. I mean, I got nothing else to do today. Let's go check it out. I got breaking the new shoes, right? How far have I run? Oh, I'm going to run a mile. I'm good. I made it like 12 feet. <laughs> the sign wasn't lying. Huh. Who knew? Now I'll run back up the hill. Okay, so now we know. This sign for this trail, no joke. So. Back to this path. You may remember this spot from this video that you can watch up there if you're watching this on YouTube. It'll be a, a thing of a bob. But uh, I definitely run a bit better. Still not good, but definitely better than where I started. I couldn't run longer, like 20 seconds when I started. Um, I can run more now. I had me running a mile and a, and a half was, was, I was done. I mean, now I just casually ran that far. So uh, that's good. But uh, it's just a beautiful day outside. Normally I go for my runs on the weekends on Sunday when it's supposed to rain. But I'm really looking forward to training for the triathlon. Got on the scale today, 225. So the weight is still coming off. I finally pushed past this plateau that I was on where I just couldn't seem to drop. I've been at 227 for almost two weeks and then I finally pushed past it. I just got more diligent and uh, with what I was, how I was eating. Not that I was really slipping, but I, I stopped eating the little slips, made sure to hit my exercise, work on my sleep, 
uh, you know, it seems a combination or one or any. I'm not sure which piece worked, probably all of it. Probably most of the diet. But so I'm looking forward because I said I can see 200. It's there, it's close. Uh, I think when I get to 200, I want to focus on getting to 180, but I don't want the focus to be getting on 180. So I guess what I really want is I want to get to 180. And I think training for the triathlon, seriously, uh, like seriously training, I think hitting 180 will be a byproduct of that. So rather than focusing on getting to 180 and then focusing on the triathlon, I'm gonna focus on the triathlon and 180 should come as a result. Because you know, I'll be upping my activity level by quite a bit for this training. I've been researching what I need to do. So got my kicks so I can train for running and I'm gonna need to get a hold of a bike. Swimming, I'm just sort of, I can't really do anything until uh, gyms open up because I have no access to a pool. I pretty much decided I'm not gonna drop any serious money on a bike. First, I just need to get my butt used to sitting in the saddle. I need to start building up my legs. So I'm just gonna get on Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace and see if I can find a cheap used bike that'll be acceptable, a road bike. Uh, and I'll start with that then I can get my accessories, you know spend more of the money on the clips the shoes the helmet I'll, I'll get a more serious bike as I get closer to events You know, I'd rather by the time I'm doing an event I want to have a good bike like a nice bike and I think I, I'm not gonna buy my last bike now. I don't have the budget for it But I could buy a, a piece of junk not a piece of junk. I could buy a used bike uh, at a discount and then uh, save up and, and drop some money on a much better bike later because again I, I you know it's the olympic triathlons where i'm gonna want the good bike but anyway the triathlon it's 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 happening it's looking good i'm i'm getting more and more excited about it the more i talk about it to people i mean i'm telling people about it because i want people to know i want people to hold me accountable to this so all right let's um let's get back on the run and keep going Whew. The run is done. The uh, shoes, they definitely make a difference. So, probably should have done this sooner. I didn't know. So, I am um, going to start getting a running training. I've just been sort of just running and walking and kind of just paying attention to my body. But I think it's time to start doing a more structured running program where I'm walking and running but with timed or distance based intervals because uh, the last stretch there I I looked at my uh, clock and I sort of kept time and I definitely felt a little bit better and so I think I'm gonna do that uh, I'm definitely far less sore after this run that I've been so apparently those shoes I've had were just so so much worse than I thought they were that I noticed after one run a difference so, of course, we'll see how I feel tomorrow. <laughs> but, all right, I'm gonna go in, let me get some water. I'm gonna roll out that knee, though. It, it still hurts. Mm -hmm. 